switch to reminders now. So I thought we did reminders at the beginning of the year. Um, I don't know, before the pandemic sometime. Did we? I, I, but it seems like two years ago, so. It, it does, doesn't it? <laughs> okay, reminders was totally redone um, this past year. Hmm. And so it's got a lot more features now. Um, so you can, you can use it for a lot of things. Um, just to give you the, the overview, this is also in the handout I sent you, but on the left sidebar, you have the search field, so you can you know, look for anything. Just type in what you want and it'll find it in your reminders. Um, then you've got these four boxes. These are smart lists. So anything I have due today appears here in the today. Anything I've scheduled for today or in future will appear here. I think if you schedule things in the past, they might also appear. Um, this is all of the reminders in the different lists that I have just all of them in one place. And if I flag any of them, they appear here. Okay. The, um, you know, for the, all the task manager power users, these are not customizable. And that's where reminders kind of falls down for a lot of people. They want to customize their task management system. Okay. And below here, this, these are all my lists. So my to-do list is the main one. Um, but I keep a running list of things that I that I like to do with Matthew. So, you know, we got we go to Dope Plantation every now and then. We love to go to the zoo and the aquarium, stuff like that. So whenever I find a good activity that I want to do with my son, then I, I put it in here. Um, things to eat, places that I found that I want to eat but haven't gone to yet. What's neat is you can you can customize how these look. So you can tell I have different um, icons for all this. So my to-do list has like a like a checklist kind of uh, icon. The things to do with, with my family. I've got like a little family icon. I've got a fork and knife for things to eat. These are really easy to customize. So um, when you create your list, you know, like if you add a new list, like I don't know, I don't know what I would add. Um, shopping then I can right click and show info. And here I can, you know, change the name or I can click here, change the color of the icon. And then let's see shopping. I'm going to look for like a shopping cart. Okay. So I've got that and click. Okay. And then that kind of customizes the list. Okay. And um, so like I, I created this list with for H H mouse items. And I was going to share it with people. So whenever you hover over your list, you've got this um, head icon. I don't know what, what you call that. So I can add people to this list. And it asked me how I want to do that. So like I could, I can send like Joan a text message and add her to this list. So now if, if and when Joan accepts, then Joan, you're muted. Okay, Sorry, it, it just got to my iPhone, but I don't, okay, here we go. Okay, I shared it with her. Yeah. I don't know why my messages aren't opening. Uh, Arlen, I got it. I got an okay. invitation in the mail. Oh. Okay. And it's the HTTP, HTTPS a link to reminders. And so I'm clicking it, and it says, do you want me to open it? And I clicked on open, and, and, and it looks like you are in. Oh, there it is. I got it. Because apparently it's still broken. <laughs> Does it say that I did it? Uh, no, but I didn't do it. Let's see. Yeah, I don't. I don't think. I don't think there's any way for me to know that you did it, that you created this. How funny is that? Okay. Get Joan into iCloud. That's funny. Yeah, I did that too. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, so Arlen, 
Uh -huh. You don't have to open up reminders to get these notices. You just go to either text or email, whichever way you sent it. Well, you we're, just trying to, we're just trying to share this list. So right. what, but what it's we're not sharing in is... reminders. It won't be in reminders. It will be in either email or text when you share, right? Correct. Right. You're, you're deciding how you want to share this. So... <laughs> But I think her point is, if she gets the invitation, she'll get it in the mail or she'll get it in a message. It won't, it's not like on calendar where there's a little place that says, oh, you have these invitations or something. Right. And I think we could even do it via airdrop if we were in the same room. Hmm. We could just use airdrop and that would probably be a much more efficient way to do it. Um, so you would just, you know, airdrop, you would get a little pop up on your screen and then you just tap it. and. Uh, you know, you could access the reminders list. So will the receiving person have anything in their reminder app that that shows okay. that you did any of this? So what you'll get is you'll get, um, like I shared this HMouse list. So on, Ross, on your side, you now have this HMouse list in your reminders, correct? Yes, I do. And it says uh, shared by Arlen Nagato. Okay, and so if you are the original, the person who shares it, like I could, I can cut them off at any time. So if Ross wait, wait, puts wait. too many weird things in here, then I'm, <laughs> I'm going to cut them off. It's colorful. It's not weird. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, but I'm, I'm not. Of course, I'm not going to do that. But so, as you can see, like whatever he puts in this list appears on my screen uh -huh. because we're sharing the list, right? Uh -huh. So. This is a good, like my groceries list is shared with my wife. So um, whatever we want to put in here, you know, this, yeah, I, and this is thing. my real grocery list. It's really, because when we go to the grocery store, we, we split up. And so each of us have the list of what we want. Ah. And then um, I can look and say, oh, she got the flour already because it's gone from the list. Because she'll, yeah. she'll click it off the moment she gets it. Yep, divide mm -hmm. and conquer. That's right. Yeah. So, and this is this is kind of fun. It's kind of fun to share the list and then, um, you know, check them off. Can you add a image or something to the list? No An image. What do you mean? I I don't think you can. Like a the photo or something. No. Like you can of? add you can add an image to a reminder, like here. I can add. Photos. I think this is going to open my photos library. Oh, it's yeah, a little box to my photos library. I can add this photo of a water bottle. I'm really not sure if it's doing anything, <laughs> which is terrible. I added it out there. I just added an image to that new reminder. Oh, look. How did you do that, Ross? I went in to add image and then I went to my library which I already had open, so I didn't have to wait for it. I, I'm surprised you can't uh, take a photo away oh, your... It said it could, it just said image. Oh, there's said a photo. 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 Yeah. This is a cool feature in, in between your, your Mac and your other devices. This is called continuity camera, something like that. But if I choose take photo, see it says take photo with uh, my iPad. Okay, so I've, Taken a photo, and now it's gonna it's gonna come in here. Okay, it added it. Yeah, it's a photo of my mouse. You know, nothing spectacular. Hmm. And quick look will let us preview that image, right? So that's the photo I took. This a photo of my Ooh, mouse. What a nice mouse. <laughs> it's, ac it's actually dying, so I'm gonna have to buy a new one soon. Oh, that's pretty cool. Adding image, right? So adding an image from your iPad or your phone, it's a pretty, pretty neat feature. I see you could add a sketch too. What does that feature give you? Does that change? Oh, okay. It doesn't. Okay. Now I, I just have to pick up my iPad or something, bring it closer to the computer. Um, add sketch. I've got the drawing tools. My handwriting is terrible, but 
so I made a sketch. Cute. And and then it comes in here, right? One of these one of these images should be the sketch. It'll take a it'll take a second to sync over. There it is. Hi everyone. Okay. Cool. So I'm using Quick Look, right? So if I highlight this image, just click on it once, and I can press the space bar, and that brings up a Quick Look. Ah, I like but, Quick. Yeah, I, I love Quick Look too. So I'm gonna click on the eye, and for any of these reminders, you can set up a time or place you want to be reminded or when messaging a person. This is kind of cool. Because if, if I check this one and I add, okay, so when I start messaging Joan, um, this reminder could come up. I love doing live demos because <laughs> you just never know if it's gonna work or not. It's, act, it's, it's actually trying to show up, but in Zoom, when you screen share, it turns off notifications. Do you see this? This reminder? Mm -hmm. It says image and reminder because you're messaging Joan. So that would have popped up right here. When I started messaging Joan, it would have popped up right here. Hmm. But notifications was turned off or, or on um, do, not, do not disturb. That's why this did not, you didn't see it pop up. But if I wasn't doing all this fancy screen sharing, recording stuff, you would have seen that pop up. <laughs> so will that reminder show up as a message? It will show up as a notification. Notification, okay. That's a good way to remind yourself, you know, because have you ever thought, you know, oh, I should ask Joan this question, but it's two in the morning. Oh wait, Joan's probably still awake. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, so. You don't you don't want to message her right then. You want to wait till, um, you know, you want to wait till it's a normal hour. But with Joan, you know, she she is still up. But you could also set it so that when I go to Lowe's, remind me to ask for a refund on that bag of dirt. And then when you get right. to Lowe's, it'll pop up on your phone. I was yeah. trying to I was trying to add that location for this, but. Okay, there it is. Lowe's. Okay, so when I arrive at Lowe's, this refund for dirt would pop up as a notification. Mm. 